Yeah, that chip must be, what, 400 pounds? Jesus, those things will tear you to shreds. <laughs> oh. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise swearsies, it's just a fact. And it's totally science. Go ahead, look it up. Thanks so much. Today, we are back in it with 4chan green text. I've tried to theme it just a little bit, and this time, uh, the theme is Joe Rogan. He's a weird guy, got a weird podcast, not as weird as the podcast I do with my wife. Check that out over on Spotify, Mr. and Mrs. Red X Podcast. With that quick plug out of the way, let's jump into this thing and see what we've got. Anyway, yeah, Jamie, pull that up again. Inhales deeply. See, there was this asteroid impact about 10,000 years ago that just fucked stuff up. You think chimps could have survived? Look how big their balls are in comparison to their dongs. Jamie, pull up those chimp dongs. Uh, I mean, how does that even happen? They'll kill you, though. Leans into Mike. Rip your goddamn arms out. This is the shit you don't think about. Oh. Here, I forgot to give you these. Hands over a basket of eggs. These are from my chickens. They're basically just fucking raptors, man. I've been feeding mine mice lately. <laughs> uh, yeah. Most of what you said is quite possibly true in some way. Great job. <laughs> the thing is, Joe leans into the mic, fat isn't the problem. Carbs and sugar's the problem. Y you ever eat nuts, man? Nuts are great for you. Um, yeah, I eat nuts. I used to pick peanuts back when I was a kid, and they were in season. Nice, nice. Like, from a tree? No, they grow in the ground. Joe nearly craps himself in surprise. What? His guest tries not to sound condescending. Peanuts grow in the ground. Kind of like, Jamie, Google this shit right now, Jamie. Google peanuts growing in the ground. Holy crap. Yeah, just like that, they grow in the ground, like potatoes. Well... Joe Rogan breathed heavily into the mic. <sighs> that makes sense. They couldn't grow on trees because squirrels would fuck them up. Imagine that. Imagine how much squirrels would fuck up a peanut tree. The squirrels are basically just tiny chimpanzees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it everything? Everything on the planet's a tiny chimpanzee in some form or fashion. Including babies! Match with cutie on Tinder. It happens sometimes. We hit it off instantly. Ha <laughs> ha, you seem like the kind of girl I'd love to get high and watch Joe Rogan with, I state. Lamau, what? She replies. I want to watch Joe Rogan with you while you play video and we just chill out, you know? I explain. Who the fuck is Joe Rogan, lol? She replies. Send her a couple of podcast clips. No replies. She unmatches a couple of hours later. These bitches won't sit and watch Joe Rogan with me. Then a couple of weeks later, same thing happens. Want to come over and listen to Joe Rogan while we chill on the couch and play Mario Kart? Joe Rogan, the gay frogs guy? Emma asks. No, no, that's Alex Jones. Rogan is the bald guy, I reply. I think the frogs guy was bald. Pretty homophobic, she barks back. He's balding. Rogan is bald. There's a difference. Instantly blocks me. And then today. It's my day off. Oh, big plans? Nah, just gonna listen to Joe Rogan and review some notes my friends got for me because I skipped a couple days ago. No reply and then blocked after an hour. I'm sick of women making me feel like it's my fault. Who the fuck shows their bare ass in their pictures but draws the line at the Joe Rogan experience? Listen, dude, that's not the way you get chicks, dude. Uh, step one, you gotta get a chimpanzee. <laughs> step two, you gotta talk about, like, a, a true crime podcast or something like that. Try that out. Let me know how it goes. I'm sure it's gonna be great. Joe Rogan is a fighter who has never competed on a grand stage. He's a comedian who isn't funny. He's a host who interrupts his guests with non sequiturs. He's a commentator who has nothing interesting or informative to say. He's part of an intellectual movement without graduating from university or, hell, even ever saying something smart. He's five foot three. Why does he have fans? Another Anon says, Because he's not a paused gay lord. It's refreshing to listen to someone who isn't brainwashed once in a while. 
Second Anon replies to OP saying, How dare you disrespect the fine comedic art of stool humping? Yeah, that's a classic. I remember seeing the court jester do that back in the 1400s and it killed. Next thing we know, Joe Rogan's learning to juggle. <laughs> Uh, uh, BB, go to bang a chick I met on Tinder. Arrive at her house, she immediately leads me into the bedroom. She pulls her pants down enough so that only her butt is visible. Uh, butt stuff's fine too, I guess. I don't think any more about it, I just bust right into her butt. She suddenly tells me she has a surprise for me. She pulls at her head, taking off a mask. It's fucking Joe Rogan. <laughs> he laughs and calls me a gaylord before body slamming me to the ground, breaking my neck and instantly paralyzing me. Then becomes evangelical Christian. <laughs> I guess that really is the full Joe Rogan experience, isn't it? Dude, I just should have named my stuff after an experience. Why are we not the Red X Industries experience? You guys have experiences around here, don't you? Maybe. Whatever. Who cares? This Anon says, Joe Rogan is like some barbarian con from the steppes that took an interest in intellectual things and his show is basically him bringing slightly nervous scholars and magicians to come before him to explain how the world works. <laughs> uh, glasses man, you explain to Joe why sky big and how tree grow, but... He will also believe almost anything you tell him, and only recently, like in the past few years, does he clap back like, Tiny hat men say otherwise. Why you lie to Joe? Tiny hat men say fat not bad for you. That sugar is enemy, so which is truth? Joe thinks you are wrong. And people just nervously go, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Joe spent many moons on horseback, training with bow and sword. But Joe also wonder why Skyfire rise from mountains every morning. You will explain this to Joe. <laughs> uh, I'll certainly try, I can promise you that. This is a disaster, but the ratings are gonna be great! It's like pretty similar to Grug posting. We probably should do a Grug posts video. But I'm a pretty big fan of Rogan posting too. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, here's what I don't get. Leans into Mike. When someone sends you a PDA virus with one of those syndicate uplinks, it's not a bomb. It's just a virus. So, what I want to know is why our PDAs are designed to have the ability to explode in the first place, because that doesn't seem safe. Jamie, pull up that one video of that one PDA accident at the Space Cadet Orientation. Video of a huge explosion and fate mentions of Obama and Sue. Whoa, you see that? Honestly, I don't know what's more scary, that the syndicate can cause our PDAs to explode, or that Nanotrace and rigged them that way from the get-go. You ever think they blow us up just on purpose? I wouldn't put it past them. They give us this great device that we can't live without, and then use it to explode us indiscriminately. Loud cries of pain from the video, which is still playing. You ever try Phazon Salt? My bro did once. He walked so fast that he phased through an airlock. <laughs> It's not for me, man. <laughs> uh, I legitimately have no idea what we're talking about here. Like the Metroid phase on something? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna try and figure it out. Keep going, Joe. It's gonna be fine. Well, no, because brings the mic closer. Every 10 years, your cells in your body actually completely change. I was reading this article about how DMT can actually advance this process into taking only six years because your pineal gland- Jamie, could you get that article up? Yeah, it's because your pineal glands can actually make your cells rejuvenate faster. Here we go. Looks over at the screen. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that chip must be, what, 400 pounds? Jesus, those things will tear you to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yes, we almost had a complete thought there. Great job! So question, Joe, if it's uh, making your cells change faster, do the telomeres shorten quicker? Because once the telomeres get too short, that initiates cell death. Did you know that? I know this really silly guy, his name's Lucas Werner, he'll tell you all about the telomeres. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I would love to see Lucas Warner on the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> uh, hilarity ensues. Hey, Anons, if you had to go on Joe Rogan to talk about trans stuff, what would you talk about? 
<laughs> this Anon says, I would repeatedly derail the conversation to talk about Legos until he got sick of me and told me to leave. Honestly, <laughs> uh, might be an episode worth remembering. I'm sort of interested already. Oh, here's a Grug posting crossover. No, because moves closer to fire. Grug see spirits when eat mushroom. Spirits tell Grug how land and sky work. Joe me, pull up tablet. Yes, even now, Grug no more than before. Mushroom give knowledge secrets. Looks over at Cave Painting. Look, Mammoth must be as heavy as 500 Grugs. Can kill you easy. <laughs> uh, I swear, Grug posting's my favorite thing to come off 4chan. Whenever I try to do it, people are like, I don't get it. And I'm like, it's, it's not meant to be got. It's silly caveman post. Just, <laughs> just enjoy it. Uh, uh. All right, back to Joe. Uh, fuck, man. Did you see the muscles on that kangaroo? Holy shit, dude. If you were to train those things in MMA, they'd punch your head clean off. I I'm telling you. That That's great, Joe. Can we get back to talking about economics now? <laughs> uh. Oh, screw off. Joe taught me to never fight a chimp. I would have never otherwise learned such wisdom. It may have saved my life. <laughs> That's true. They'll rip your whole face off, bite all your fingers off. They weigh like 400 pounds. Those things can kill you so easy. <laughs> uh, we're truly enjoying a trip down the rabbit hole today. <laughs> Joe Rogan leans in closer to the mic. Hey man. I was gonna do some Bolivian marching powder enemas in my ice bath while researching Ronald Reagan recently, and I figured out the reason why he was such a fucking prick as the governor of California and the president. Jamie, pull up the pictures. He was just an actor before, right? He was. But the turning point was in 1951, with a role in Bedtime for Bonzo, where he acted with a chimp. Look at his pants before 1951, and after 1951. Yeah, I'm- I'm not seeing what you're talking about, Joe. Dude, how can you not see it? His package is gone! That chimp totally ripped his dick off. <laughs> uh, and then he built a Death Star to fight the Russians. <laughs> uh, life works in weird ways sometimes. You ever want to see Joe Rogan interview a dog? Because I do. <laughs> Bailey, thanks for coming in. Oof. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're gonna come after you for that. Oof. <laughs> Joe laughs for five minutes. <laughs> when did the beef between you and squirrels really start? I was always so confused by that. Dog shits. <laughs> That's what I love about you, man. You're not afraid to do what you want and say what you want. Trump's that way, too. Jamie pulls up Trump calling some woman fat. Yeah, the great thing about Trump... Woof! Joe Rogan death stare. Don't interrupt me, Bailey. You've had your turn to speak. Oof. What do you think of Cat Stevens? Urgh. Joe laughs for another five minutes. <laughs> uh, all of this truly happened, I'm pretty sure. We need to have more dogs on podcasts. Or how about that time that Joe Rogan interviewed a bear? <laughs> Look, Joe, name one animal that could stand a chance against me 1v1. Silverback. Tiger, Rhino, you name it. Get us in the ring and I will maul them to death. It's as simple as that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I notice it's not a polar bear. The most dangerous of all the bears. And honestly, I, I don't know if he could take a chimpanzee. Those things are like 400 pounds, man. They rip your face off. <laughs> Uh, uh. All right, Jamie, pull up that clip of that roadrunner smashing the shit out of that snake. Look at this goddamn raptor bitch. Eyes widen. Have you ever tried out spinal decompression? <laughs> uh, I've never watched the pot. Is it this much of like non sequiturs and weird stuff? I guess I have to go give it a try. The guest says, well, I mean, I haven't tried it yet. It's the fucking best, man. I need to show you some stuff after we wrap this thing up. Actually, I really need to- Shit literally saved my back, man. I'll do about 45 minutes in the morning, followed up with like a kale smoothie and some krill oil. 
Joe, I should really get fucking gut health, man. Give me your address. I'll send you a book on Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> uh, that sounds great. I would love that. <laughs> Guest says I I think I missed my flight. Screw your flight, man. Get another. So anyway, brings the mic closer. Every 10 years, your cells and your body actually completely change. <laughs> Uh, I, was <laughs> I was reading this article about how DMT can actually advance this process into only taking six years because your pineal gland. Jamie, could you get that article up? Yeah. But it's because your, your pineal gland can actually make your cells rejuvenate faster. Here we go. Looks over at screen. Look at that. Yeah, that chimp must be what? 400 pounds? Jesus, those things will tear you to shreds. <laughs> uh, is this the same one? It's gotta be a different one. I guess that's just how they all end. But what about Tower 7? Hey, hey, Joe, you ever do that thing? Towels off sweaty brow. You know, when you're high on blow and eating some chick out, you just stick your nose in the butthole to see how it smells? <laughs> Gets me hot! <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but I don't think I like that guy. Get that nasty shit out of my face! You're a creep, sir! We're trying to keep this child friendly around here, sir! Alright, be me. 500 pound Teddy Inhaler. About to eat a big greasy meal, as per usual. Suddenly, feel the ground rumbling. The fuck is this, stop PNG? Before I even have time to react, my door is blown off its goddamn hinges. Standing there is part elk, part Joe Rogan centaur. <laughs> Confused diamond.jpg. He booms out with the voice of a god. Anon! That's bad for your gut microbiome. <laughs> he shoots the tendies out of my hand with a fucking bow and arrow. Tell him he can't do this. He can't stop me from eating. Suddenly, a thousand Joe Rogan voices come together in unison. A buddy of mine can stop you. Ground freaking trembles as he says the word buddy. Oh crap, dot exe. I can now hear countless steps scurrying throughout my entire house. Behind the walls is muffled coughing and mentions of the word DMT. <laughs> Centaur Rogan grabs me by the back of my head and throws me ten feet. Crash into my dresser as a chorus of, oh, he's hurt, picks up. Try to get up, but the wall finally bursts open. Out pours every type of Joe Rogan. <laughs> Black shirt, UFC Rogans, leather jacket, Fear Factor Rogans, <laughs> blaze orange Hunter Rogans, sweaty sauna Rogans, countless others. They pin me down with inconceivable jujitsu holds. Feel like my eyes are gonna burst from the pressure. Crying and pissing myself. Is this how I die? Dot gif. Centaur Rogan bends down and whispers in my ear. Should have had a healthier gut microbiome. Shoves weed gas mask bong in my face. <laughs> uh, immediately wake back up, surrounded by my buddies. Remember that we were hitting DMT. How was the trip, Anon? DMT is real, bro. Don't go to the land of a thousand Rogans. It's not meant for mere mortals. I don't think I need to worry about it, dude. My gut microbiome, like, is pretty good. All things considered. <laughs> uh, bet you wouldn't catch him doing all that if I was a chimpanzee. They're like 400 pounds. Those things will rip your face off. <laughs> uh, the joke's not even funny anymore. Hey. Any other straight guys really want to shrink Joe Rogan and shoot your load on him and maybe lock him in a dog crate? <laughs> what? What the f*** are you talking about? Uh, Anon replies, get psychiatric help. The bottom picture's his normal height, bigot. Imagine him after being shrunken, trying to kicky punch his way out of my turd dungeon with his tough guy karate. <laughs> Uh, turd dungeon. <laughs> uh, why do white dudes want to bang other men? And you nerds wonder why your women only want men of color. <laughs> this came out of left field. <laughs> uh, yep, never met a gay black dude in my life. 
I have. He worked at Ren Fair. His name was Vincent. <laughs> to be fair, though, I think everybody in this thread needs psychiatric help. Oh, hey, look, here's Joe Rogan interviewing a bear. <laughs> Joe says, listen, Jamie, I got this. Joe proceeds to start climbing the ladder. Jamie says, Joe, those aren't cannabis leaves on the rooftop. Besides, Joe, it's illegal here in Russia to climb on other people's rooftop without consent. Joe, shut it, Jamie. This is Russian weed, man. Russian. Have you ever heard about the crazy drug experiments they did in Russia during the Cold War, Jamie? This shit's probably like super weed. Joe proceeds to put his leg on the 22nd peg of the ladder. Joe, besides, imagine how many views this will get for the podcast. Joe proceeds to put his leg on the final peg. Joe, have you ever considered what the Dutch do with all that dope? I mean, they have so much of it that at this point, they probably even put their salads on top of an ear-shattering roar erupts from the rooftop. Joe, oh fuck, it's a, it's a Russian bear. Joe proceeds to quickly climb down before he gets slashed. God damn it, dude, the Russians are crazy, man. The bear attempted to slash Joe, but missed him and slipped on the final peg of the ladder, causing both the bear and Joe to have a painful free fall to the ground. Yeah, don't let it land on you. Those things weigh like 400 pounds, <laughs> Joe. Fuck! My MMA injuries are coming back! Joe had no time to rest because soon, a Scooby-Doo-style chase ensued between the bear and Joe. Joe, Jamie! Jamie, pull up the bear mace, Jamie! <laughs> Jamie, he hears a knife, Joe. Joe, this isn't gonna work, Jamie. It's a Russian bear. It knows the martial art of Sambo. Jamie says, Joe, you're not making any sense. Sambo's a dead martial art. Joe immediately halts, and by result, so does the bear. Joe, what the fuck are you talking about? It's alive. Tell him, bear. Bear. Arr. Joe, go and tell him that Sambo's not dead. Everybody's silent for a few seconds. Dr. Bear proceeds to put on his tiny glasses and sits down. <laughs> uh, Dr. Bear, actually, Jamie... The martial art of Sambo's been alive and relevant for years now. Its history can be traced back to the Soviet years. Joe, see Jamie, I told you, these Russian bastards are insane. Joe then proceeds to invite Dr. Bear onto his podcast to talk about the martial art of Sambo. To this day, it's one of his least popular podcast episodes due to how boring the story behind it is compared to the others. Poor bear. Don't worry, Dr. Bear. One day you'll have your day in the sun. Someday everybody will recognize your greatness. Everybody. Be me. Depressed. Gonna get fired soon and through my 15-year career down the drain. Can't sleep because mind is racing. Each night, pretend in my head that I'm on Joe Rogan. <laughs> Think of interesting subjects to discuss with Joe. He listens and enjoys talking to me. He's the only one who does fall asleep. It's like this every fucking night now. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know, nor do I care to unpack it. <laughs> Next one. Be at the store. See some vegetarian tendies on sale. Meh, might as well try them. Heard they taste the same. Go home and open the package. Suddenly the window breaks as a midget rolls in. It's Joe freaking Rogan. <laughs> Is it really five foot three? It's hilarious. Uh, no vegan bullshit. E eat wild game like a man. He takes out a bow and shoots my cat. <laughs> Jumps me the moment I start to hesitate. Jiu-jitsu grapples me and almost chokes me to death. I instinctively gasp for air and I notice a bong in my mouth. Dimethyltryptamine will help you see the light. Get blasted into a dimension more real than this one, and it is filled with Joe Rogan's preaching and doing stand up. <laughs> Dude, Joe, how many times have you come here, man? <laughs> uh, this is pretty fucked up right here. Is my cat gonna be okay? Was that all real? He's like, yeah, your, your cat's dead. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, oh. Match with girl on dating app. She watches anime, and Joe Rogan, match made in heaven, low-key skinny and plump where it needs to be. One small thing, she has no face pictures, only body pictures. Neither do I. Never mind that. Set up for a date, I show up the place. 
She shows up shortly after. I take a better look at her face and suspicion starts to rise. Tell her we should remove our masks so we can see each other's faces. We remove our masks simultaneously. Realization, it's my sister. She blushes, just like in them Chinese cartoons. <laughs> uh, my face when my first match was my little sister. Awkward atmosphere.mp3. We both agree to never talk about this again and go home. After we got home, we banged like rabbits. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, you just knew the bottom was dropping. I don't even know what this has to do with Joe Rogan. His name was mentioned. I guess that means he caused all of this. Why well, you gotta do that, Joe? Don't you feel even slightly bad, Joe? Here's another tangential Joe one. <laughs> we are gonna scoop this world completely dry. Guys, I, I think I just found the most idiotic person. If you guys don't know, I'm talking about Brendan Schaub. B. Schaub had an underwhelming MMA career, gets knocked out and probably got some brain damage, is friends with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's a comedian, so Schaub also wants to be one. Dickwriting.exe has arguably the worst career as a comedian that has ever existed. Produces a comedy special, The Gringo Poppy, has a rating of 1 out of 10 on IMDb. I don't know, my stand-up career wasn't much to write home about either. At least he got out there and tried it, you know? Even with the severe brain damage at all? <laughs> somebody, somebody clap for that guy. Brendan then forces his friends to make a congratulations video for having a special. And it seems way too forced. Kid you not, the man-child starts crying while watching it. Other shit Shob has done. Plagiarism. He lifts other comedians' jokes, such as Dave Smith and Jay Larson. He lied about saving some kids from a burning car. <laughs> Shelb attends a funeral and starts to flex on the family selfie that they looked the best compared to all the others who attended. I mean, the brain damage thing kind of does give him a lot of leeway, doesn't it? <laughs> he also said that RAPE victims liked the way that it happened. The way what happened? The event? In general? I can't tell if Brendan Shelb's the idiot or OP's the idiot. <laughs> Why not both? Both. 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 Uh, another comedian asks Shelb to do a charity event. He declines and says that, uh, he never works on Sundays. That's right. It's the Lord's Day of Rest. I make my money on Friday and Saturday like everybody else. <laughs> when other high-profile comedians offer to do the charity event, Shob then has a change of heart and attends said event. There's also the time that he pretended his son had seizures that were cured by that snake oil CBD, only to never speak of it again once they stop paying him to do ads. I don't know, bro. CBD's pretty legit. <laughs> uh, I think Anon is the real idiot here. There's like hundreds of clips of Brendan being a Dumbo that I recommend everyone to see if you want some brain cancer. Really, the rabbit hole on this goes deep. I don't care enough to fact check anything you just said. Thanks for making a shitty post now. Get it out of my face! <laughs> uh, go on a date with a guy from Bumble. He's cute and handsome, second meetup at my place. We're on my bed, talking. I tell him that before we do anything, I need to ask if he does any of the following. Listen to Joe Rogan, own any amount of cryptocurrency, consider himself a gym rat. He says yes to all three. I tell him he has no empathy and I don't know if I can bang him. He just stares at me and then says, you don't have a personality, and leaves. I get mad and call him a douchebag. He's already left my apartment, so I text him and called him immature. Message not delivered. This a-hole freaking blocked me. Why are men like this? Only reply in the thread is another anon saying, you sound like you're fat. <laughs> fat chicks need love too, but they gotta pay. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. Jim Rats are cool. Crypto's pretty cool. Joe Rogan, I don't know if he's cool or not, but he, he does make me laugh from Green Text, so I give him a pass too. This girl's just holding on to damage left there by her exes. Come on, come on, make it stop. Let it go. 
Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, moderately. <laughs> She's richer than me. 120 million worth Joe Rogan goes berserk as 100 million earnings of cash me outside girl comes to light. I mean, society is sort of fucked up in a way. <laughs> really, neither of you would have succeeded on merit. But then again, neither would I. <laughs> Uh, uh, Anon says men are paying girls millions of dollars on OnlyFans just to see nudes. Girls don't even have to show their vagine or their b-hole. How can society fix simp culture? Another Anon says I'd say we're at the top. Just a short society. <laughs> richer than me, not richer than I. Hmm, wonder why. Dumb. <laughs> uh, like I said, neither of you would have made it in, like, some time in the not-too-distant past. <laughs> uh, but whatever, everybody's getting the bag. I hope that I can stumble into a hundred million dollars one day. That is the biggest dream of mine. Just give me a hundred million dollars. I can retire. Could you do that for me? Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, match with girl. Get her number. Text. She asked me what types of podcasts I like. I tell her I listen to Joe Rogan. She says, seriously, dude? OP, hell yeah, I love Joe Rogan. She gives me a peace sign emoji, unable to deliver message. Check Tinder, she unmatched me. Why does this shit happen? Because the lowest common denominator can't stand the competition of another lowest common denominator. That's my working theory anyways. <laughs> uh, you know, I always wondered where all this Halloween imagery originated from, you know, like, the skeletons. I wonder who came up with skeletons and, <laughs> and associated them with Halloween since they're super creepy looking. And, uh, Joe, the skeleton is our actual bone structure. W what do you mean? Well, uh, the human skeleton is what makes up our physical structure alongside our muscles and Joe's eyes bulge out of his skull as he leans in, clutching his microphone. No fucking way, dude, holy shit. Historian is looking visibly confused <laughs> as Joe rocks back and forth in his chair. Jamie, pull up a skeleton and an adult human side by side. Oh shit, I can totally see it. Look at like the arms and the legs and everything. I bet that's why chimps are so, <laughs> so much stronger, since we evolved to have one of these, whereas they just have muscle. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's exactly- you nailed it down. I couldn't have nailed it down any flatter. You know, at a certain point, I'm pretty sure these are going to start to melt my brain. <laughs> uh, but we should probably do some more. Really put that theory to the test. <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm Joe. Who's Joe? I, I'm Joe. I just told you. Oh. Any other people named Joe? Yeah. Who? Uh, Joe Biden? Any others? Joe Rogan? Anyone named Joe with a surname starting with M? Yeah. Who? Uh, Joe McConnell? Anyone named Joe with a surname beginning with M-A? Yeah. Who? Joe Mauer? Anyone named Joe with a surname beginning with Ma, resembling a name of a maternal figure? Yeah. Who? Joe motherfucking mama! Got him! <laughs> Joe. The who? Joe mama. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this one really has nothing to do with Joe Rogan. It's fine. Be me at store. Again. See some vegetarian tendies on sale. Again. Meh, might as well try them. Heard they taste the same. Go home and open the package. Suddenly the window breaks as a midget rolls in. <laughs> it's Joe freaking Rogan. No vegan bullshit. Eat wild game like a man. He takes out a bow and shoots my cat to death again. <laughs> Jumps me the moment I start to hesitate. Jiu Jitsu grapples me and almost chokes me to death. I instinctively gasp for air and notice a bong in my mouth. Dimethyltryptamine will help you see the light. Get blasted into a dimension more real than this one, filled with Joe Rogan's preaching and doing stand-up. The propaganda nightmare lasts for multiple lifetimes. Wake up shivering and broken, cry and whisper to myself, <laughs> we, we are all apes. Joe Rogan nods. Nothing more productive than some long-form conversation. 
He takes my dead cat and leaves. This always happens after I start using Spotify. <laughs> Uh, there's a reason they pay him the big bucks, that's what I know. Thanks for the wake-up call, Joe. Is that a different one? Is that just the ending one? The earlier one was cut off? I don't care, who cares? Like I said, we really scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. And I think we scraped it pretty clean. If you got some more to add, let me know. Be careful of chimpanzees, because those things are like 400 pounds, they'll totally rip your face off. <laughs> Especially if you don't like or, or subscribe on the video. That's super important. If you don't do it, it'll it'll shorten your telomeres. <laughs> uh, what a wild ride. On the end card, I'm gonna link you to some more green text. They're all out of control, but Joe Rogan's just a different breed, man. I appreciate you watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. And of course, always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy. You definitely, definitely deserve it. And I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Uh, Go ahead and cut them open. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine!